Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today, we're going to interface Log for Old Men with Log Book of the World and make it so when you exit Log for Old Men and you have new QSOs that you just made in there, it'll automatically upload those QSOs to Log Book of the World. Take that whole export sign upload step out of your daily operation. Also, Bonus, it'll also download confirmations later on QSOs that you made. And that means that you can use the contest and awards section of uh, Log for Old Men to figure out what you're eligible for. Anyway, with that, hey, if you think of it, click down on subscribe for me. Um, it really helps out the channel and you can also get notifications that way when we come up with new videos. With that, on with the show. Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and we're going to go ahead and set up Log for Old Men to automatically upload QSOs to Logbook of the World after it exits every time you close it, if there's any new QSOs for it to upload. So pay attention because we're going to be making settings that are going to work on a lot of the different uploads, okay? Um, the cool part about Log for Old Men is you can upload to QRZ.com, you can upload to Club Log, you can upload to EQSL, uh, HRD Log. There's just a bunch of stuff that you can do. So it's cool, all right? So let's go ahead and start with the settings we need to make under program configuration. Now we've all kind of been here, so uh, lots of choices. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to go through all of these different menu items and talk about them. But I'm just trying to give you the stuff that you need to get going right now. And the first thing we need to do is we need to go under confirmations, okay? This is under user configuration, confirmation. And we're going to select worked all the way down to club log, and we're going to select all of those, okay? And we're basically selecting multiple modes, as it were. And we're going to set confirmations according to our preferences. So I'm going to look under here for every type. And the top type is QSL. And I am going to verify that the sent and received with QSL selected are both set to no. Okay. And I'm going to click on the little picture of the floppy disk. If you remember what a floppy disk is, I'm going to click it so I save that setting. I'm going to do that for EQSL. I'm going to do that for all of these except for custom because I don't use custom. Uh, logbook of the world, very important. Make sure these are both set to no. I think the default is to have it set to requested and that confuses some of the other things I do. And in the long run, I think that's where you want them set as both to no. Okay, and make sure every time you change one of these in the pull down here, right, you click on the little disk to save it. If you don't, it won't be saved. And then go up and save your configuration, right, just to make sure you keep it saved. Now let's take a look at external services because this is where we're going to configure um, oh, a logbook of the world. Now, I can also, you know, while I'm in here, if I have a payforplayqrz.com account, I can go into my account settings and find my API key. I can put this in here, and it will automatically, if I check this, it will automatically upload every log entry to qrz.com. Same thing with club log. Log my stuff, uh, give my login, and it will automatically upload to club log. HRD log, same thing. EQSL, same thing, right? You can actually get it all squared away so it automatically uploads every time you have a new QSO. Uh, same thing with HamQTH if you use their service. But we're interested in Logbook of the World. So let's get this configured. And my password... And now I need to go here and I need to find the trusted Q 
QSL execution path, okay? So remember, when we installed it, right, we installed it on the C drive under the program files x86 folder, and it is under the trusted QSL directory, and down here is TQSL. It's an executable. I'm going to select OK. Now, I have to also set up a temporary path. So this can be anywhere you want it. Um, I'm going to stick mine. I'll look under here, and I'm going to stick mine under Documents and under the log for old men to directory that we made to create our log files in, but I'm going to make a directory under there and I'm just going to call it TEMP. And that one's selected, so when I click OK, it will now use that directory as a temporary directory. Station ID. Okay, my station ID inside of TQSL is home QTH. Now, if you set a private password for your key when you created it, okay, this is where you would put that private password, all right? Um, I run without a private password because this is a secure computer and I'm the only one that uses it. Uh, if it wasn't, I probably would do it a little bit differently. Anyway... I want to do my last job, my upload flag. I want to consider the QSL to be uploaded when uh, sent status is or need to be uploaded, okay, uh, when it's set to no. And it reminds us that you need to make sure that is set under confirmations, all right? And then, of course, I can click on automatically upload on close. Now I'm not going to do that because I'd probably want to do a little bit of testing first. Now I hit save and exit. So something interesting happens, right? Um, I don't really have any data in here, but I can upload data very easily by going into utilities and clicking on my QSO manager and I can go down here to Logbook of the World. And if I had anything in here, I could select it. Let's try something by the magic of recording. Wow, that's cool. All right, so now I have a bunch of QSOs in here. I can go ahead and upload QSOs to Logbook of the World, or I can download confirmations, right? Uh, so I can select any group of these. I'll select this one, let's say, and upload it. And let's see if my uploads work. So I'm just testing with one file. Now this is a duplicate, so it should drop it. There it goes. Queuing for process after the message in the program says, uh, okay, it signed it. All that worked. And it saved it. There we go. All right. So with that, I am all done. Everything works. So what do you think of that, guys? Pretty good, huh? All right. So with all that, that's all there is to it. Now, whenever you pop in uh, somebody's call sign here, you know, and say that you talk to them, you've already got your lookup set up, so they're working, right? And now, of course, if I save this, I've got it right here. If I tell it to automatically upload, it will automatically upload. Or I could even upload it from my utilities from the QSO manager, right? Now, here's the kicker, though, all right? I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to my settings and set... under my external services logbook of the world I'm going to tell it to automatically upload on close what's going to happen is when I close the program it is going to in the background without telling me or showing me anything it's going to automatically upload that QSO and I don't have to worry about that anymore once a month I want to pop up pull down my confirmations you know and this will calculate any uh, awards I might have available to me but other than that that's all there is to do this. I hope you enjoyed this. Be back with you soon.
You know, none of this stuff is complicated, but if you know the right things to click and the right way to set it up when you start out, I honestly think it's a little bit easier. And that's why I do these videos, you know. I, I really like the automated portion of Logbook for Old Men to upload the stuff to all those different services. I know that we just touched on Logbook of the World. Uh, the rest are along the same lines. They're fairly easy to do. You just go in through the QSL man or QSO manager. Uh, no, excuse me, QSL manager to upload those, uh, you know, for testing. And then you can set them all to upload automatically, which is where I'm set. And I don't get dupes, and I've had really good luck with that. Anyway, with that, um, do me a favor. Click down there on the subscribe button and click on the bell if you want to get notified when we have new videos. Also, um, any comments or questions, as always, make them right down there in the comment section. Uh, I try to answer them all. Sometimes they slip by, but uh, I really do. I try to answer each and every one of them. So with that, 73 everybody, this is Stu, AG6AG, and I want to hear you out on the air.